to make a video about uh, the carnivore diet of all things. I got off topic because it is really just a silly freaking diet and a crazy concept, okay? What I want to point out is this dude Frank Defano was talking about. I, I started following Michelle Lowe, this British chick, uh, older lady, uh, psychologist, very humorous. She picks apart the crappy science that the carnivores use. But what really irked me is Frank Tufano, who I actually kind of like. I think out of all these kooks, he's probably the least um, annoying and most humorous of them. But what he was pointing out is that you need to make, that the, the carnivores need to make things up. That, you know, perhaps broccoli calcifies the arteries or something like this because he claims that's what vegans do. Uh, no. Some vegans probably do make stuff up, but no, there's a lot of science backing veganism as a healthful lifestyle choice that does indeed reverse health concerns, and this is seen in clinic with Dr. Clapper, Dr., uh, what's-his-face, uh, Dr. McDougal, Pritikin. These people have been reversing diseases for decades, okay? And what was funny is he disses Dr. Clapper saying he looks like a ghoul. Dr. Clapper's 71 years old. There aren't going to be many carnivores making it to 71, I don't think, if I make it that long personally, and I see these carnivores making it to these ripe old ages, and I see a carnivore centenarian, which I think there might be due to advances in medical science, but I will, I will be amazed. Okay. But veganism is proven to be a life extension strategy. Okay. Especially high-carb veganism, and I will make a special video about that. My point is, is this, my point is that with um, one of Tufano's videos, he talks about how fruits and vegetables aren't health foods and goes on about how we need to honor our ancestors and only eat these wild fruits and vegetables and how domestic fruits and vegetables are bad. Fruits and vegetables, and all foods really, are very important in the expression of genes. They're the epigenome that people don't talk about. There's nature and nurture, and foods are part of nurture, but this affects the nature, okay? This is why when I make playlists about, and Frank Tufano will appreciate this, primitive tribes, I include a lot of the food culture. But what's ignored by Tufano and other carnists is this, the fact that every advanced, every advanced civilization, whether in Mesoamerica, North Africa, the Mediterranean, etc., these are all plant-based omnivores, okay? Whether it's the Inca, or the Aztec, or the Maya, or the Romans, or the Babylonians, or the Sumerians, or whoever, these are all starch-based usually too, these are all plant-based omnivores, meaning they're, the bulk of their diet comes from plants, usually grains of some kind. In